Hi, John Bono here. I'm just going up to Waitangi shortly. This is the Chief Kingi Toru. We're going to a hui in Pirinaki on the Moira Marae, right in Pirinaki, at 10 o'clock tomorrow, Saturday. So if any of you come out to us, the old ones, come along there. Yeah. <coughs> and I'll be doing a presentation again on the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court hearing on 6th of February 2017, Waitangi Day. Okay, so um, I just wanted to uh, give Te uh, Tumutumu a ring, or no, sorry, i give the uh, Maryland Court a ring for the heading at a 12 block before I go and uh, see what's going on there. I'm not too happy about what's happened there. I will put it across at the Hui up north, about those blocks will go in the same as the Cook Street blocks and the Waitangi land blocks that we're going through with our Hui tomorrow to sort that out. Here we go. Um, let me take that off. A little bit of a rush here. Okay, here we go again. I've got to put some more credit in. Oh, wow. Always the same. Uh, hang on a minute. Bear with me. I just have to go to the skinny and top this phone up again. It's a nuisance, really, because I've used up a lot of credit in the last two weeks on my trips away. Oof, really chewing through it. Um, confirm top up. I'll top up the phone and then I'll make a phone call, but um, um, I just wanted to make sure that I've given you something before I go. I've got to go to the physio first with my neck puncture as well and my body this is a nuisance Make this important call to the Maryland Court, uh, Judge um, Fox. Judge Fox. Karen Fox. Alright, we'll give her a call and find out what's going on. We're getting at 8 12. Hell to play on that one. This goes for the Rotten Point block as well. Oh. Here goes.
Hello dear, it's uh, John Wanoi here speaking. Could I speak to Karen Fox please? Oh, I see. So I wanted to find out about the heading A12 block. Um, what about it, John? Uh, uh, I, I got an email from, uh, from uh, Te Tumutumu Pairoa. That, um, yeah, uh, because I was taking the lease on. But I wanted to make sure if, if the um, name has changed from uh, Betty Collier to me yet, or uh, after the meeting we had on Friday last. Oh, Wednesday, sorry. Wednesday. No, it, it, it takes a month, John. Oh, a month? Yes. Oh, okay. It and overnight. Okay, okay. So, the other thing I wanted to find, because I haven't got the lease on the place, and who who is who has won the lease? That's the other thing I wanted to know. You have to ask Tim Oh, okay. They okay. are the responsible trustee. Okay, okay. That's all I rank for. I get it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, he didn't sound very nice, Paratini. You see, they're on their guard with me. I know he was <clears throat> like a, a, a sentry guard to keep things in order as far as the Crown's concerned, which is okay. I've got no problem with that, but I just wanted to find out Tetumutumu's role. I'm taking this into the um, Marae up in um, Kurinaki with the Whakaminia uh, Taumata or Ngāpui. Okay, we're going through this native court hearing straight to Britain and I'm in the middle of that with this eight point star jurisdiction over these lands. Okay, unless Tetumutumu Pairo can show me their land title over the British land title I'm holding then they've got a problem. We're going to take the court. It's going to be very expensive. What is it? You answer the phone at the Maryland Court. I'll have another letter. I've sent an email to Karen, Judge Karen Fox about my concerns about that land blocks, those land blocks. Right? We're not very happy as landowners, the original native surname landowners of anybody on those lands without us having to go on with what we've got. We've got enough to go on, those lands, we're going to do it this way. If that law doesn't uphold a law we want to use, then we'll use a higher law and prove it in court who has jurisdiction over those lands. I've never been on these lands because these trustees have been in my road, just like the police in Auckland on Cook Street, in my road. They've tampered with my information and now they're going to go and face the court hearings, one by one, that's what the folks said, one by one, we pick you out, anybody in the road, and haven't got a title. If you haven't got a title to match what I've got in titles on those lands, the papa, the real titles, then you're in trouble. I'm just saying that I'm putting this out before I go up north, this little warning shot, that we're not going to muck around anymore with John T and his government, fraudulent, we're going to prove he's fraudulent. That's the same as Trump is doing to Clinton and Obama. John Key, you're the same. I'm accusing you of the Panama Papers and corruption of our lands and the resources and signing contracts with other interests without the Whakamenia title holders and red chiefs. Okay, that's all I want to say here before I go north to that meeting. I'm in the middle of that. I did tell Karen Fox judge that I'm involved with the Whakamania and my authority authority comes from there, not the Maryland Court. That is not our court. We are the British High Court of Admiralty, the real Admiral. Seal here, you see, you see, it's got King William and his ship here. You haven't got anything like that. And his horse, right? Seal and his crown and his eight point star. You haven't got a queen for a start. You haven't got a queen for a start, Paratena, in your Maryland Court. You're going to have to tell me whose authority are you going under because if it's not a king, you're in trouble too, you personally. I'm just saying these things because I'm not going to muck around with these tomata up there. And they've had enough. All the tribes here, the Confederation of Chiefs, the incorporations, 
and <coughs> the Taumata old people themselves have had enough of your government, John Key, and your married ankle, because I've never been able to get on any of those landlocks with what, what I want to do. And you want my plans? Like hell, you're not going to get these plans. Tumutumu Bairo. You just changed your name for the married trustee to Tumutumu Bairo. What the hang is that sending a signal out to yourselves and Victor Goldsmith on the Haha ha block? Jim Wikotu and I have got issues with that land block, and so have I with Marangaro C12 block. We've got issues. You're going to have to show your title, mate, otherwise you're off. Okay, I'm saying that. You're off. We don't want you on there anymore because you're for yourself. And I've got enough hapus around there to go into Waitangi to legislate right over the top of you with the King's Admiralty Court Martial and Martial Financial Martial Law right over the top of your titles. Okay? Take my word. I mean what I say in real on these lands. Unless you show me a title better than what I've got, then off you go. We're going to bill you first with the power note. You see that on Facebook now. That's our evidence. The police lost their case against me on Cook Street land worth 2.5 billion. So another block is going to fall right into that house of cards behind that one and the Waitangi blocks. I'm telling you, you better listen to me for a change. Okay, I know what I'm saying about land law. And you people have got away with it too long. You Maoris, we're talking Moai this time around. The Moai Hapu versus the Maori Iwi Authority. Maori Iwi has no title of its own. It has usurped the Hapu's titles. We're taking those all off you and give you the bill. We're going to bill you personally each. Pope Francis says he's taken all your laws off you and you're still using them. There's Admiralty Law, Courier Law, Canon Law, Civil Law. You're using those laws when you're not supposed to. And the police, we're going to pull you out one by one. A trillion pounds on each of your heads. You better believe me, you'll be left with nothing after this law. Okay? So that's all I want to say. It's 1.52 now, p.m. I've got to get to the physio in Manukau City, then off up north. So we'll catch you when I come back. Oh, I think I'll put this on line right now. Okay, bye. Today is um, Friday, 2nd of December 2016. Odo Auckland, New Zealand.